In this packet, we will talk about functions. A function is a correspondence between a first set domain and a second set range. such that each member of the domain corresponds to exactly one member of the range. Let's look at some examples. Here we look at a set of points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The domain is a set of x values 1, 3, 5, and 7. The range is a set of y values, 2, 4, 6, and 8. By definition, the set of points is a function. Each member of the domain only goes to one member of the range. Another example. Here, we look at a set of points, negative 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, and 5, 2. The domain is a set of x values, negative 1, 1, 3, and 5. The range is a set of y values, 3, 2. By definition, the set of points is a function. Each member of the domain only goes to one member of the range. Another example. Here we look at the set of points 1, 3, 2, negative 5, 1, negative 3, 4, 5. The domain is a set of x values 1, 2, and 4. The range is a set of y values, 3, negative 3, negative 5, and 5. By definition, the set of points is not a function. One member of the domain goes to more than one member of the range.
try these problems and check your results. Did you take this out of the garbage? Did you take the diaper out of the garbage? Did you throw the boots out of the garbage? I can't do it. See? Well, hold on. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my goodness, it's too funny. Done, okay. This isn't really a break for me, okay? What? This isn't really a break for me, okay? That's enough. That's enough. Using the definition of a function and using the vertical line test, we can see if a graph is a function or not. This first graph we see is a line. Knowing the definition of a function, we see that every x value domain goes to only one y value, the range. So this is a function. Notice the vertical lines. This is also known as a vertical line test. Let's see if this next graph is a function. Notice each member of the domain x value goes to one member of the range, y value. So this is a function. Next example. In this example, we see that there are x values, domain values, that go to more than one y value, range. So this is not a function. It also fails the vertical line test because the vertical line hits the graph more than once. Here we are looking at what is called a step function because it looks like steps. This is also an example of a function since each member of the domain goes to one member of the range. Now, let's look at function notation. This is read as f of x equals 3x plus 2. f of x is another way of writing y. Here, we are going to evaluate some function values f of negative 1 means we plug in negative 1 for the x value.
f of 0 means we plug in 0 for x. f of 1 means we plug in 1 for the value of x. More examples. Try some examples.